Zinc and Sulfur Attention! Sulfur dioxide is very toxic and must not be inhaled. The mixture of zinc and sulfur must not be stored and should be used up directly. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For this experiment, 6.5 grams of zinc powder and 3.2 grams of sulfur are used. The amount is enough to do the experiment two times. The sulfur is ground so it can be easily mixed with the zinc powder. The zinc powder must not be added at this step because this could cause the mixture to react. Then the sulfur and the zinc powder are added to a beaker and swirled until a homogeneous mixture is obtained. In the finished mixture the sulfur is almost invisible. Now half of the mixture is put on a fireproof surface. A long metal rod is heated until it glows and then held into the mixture. In an exothermic reaction, zinc and sulfur react to form zinc sulfide. Nevertheless, zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide are also formed. There is often a delay before the mixture ignites. It's also possible that the sulfur ignites at first and burns for a few seconds until the expected reaction takes place. The zinc sulfide can be used for the preparation of hydrogen sulfide. This was the reaction of zinc and sulfur. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.